Hello everyone, welcome. My name is VR and today we're here to talk about the new lot boxes that are going to be hitting us on the 23rd of June. Let's check the calendar real quick. Upcoming events and down here, as you can see, 23rd of June, Astral Lot Box. I expected them to go with the whole new lot box system in terms of the knock uh, the Nox box system, but they're not actually doing that. They're going for just better rewards, I guess. So we're going to look look at the screenshot in just a second. Um, it was sent to me in the middle of a hardcore boss. Shout out to Ultraviolet, by the way. Thanks for the screenshot. But before we get into that, I just want to keep you guys up to date with how the character is progressing. So we are still missing the second mini boss regent. As you can see, mini boss one, three, and four. We are missing that second one. Try my best to get it. And also when it comes to mythic insignias, I have not spent any real money on this game. This is everything that I've farmed. I've pretty much gone from zero to one, two, three, four, six. Pretty much gone from zero to six. I want to see in the space of a week. When do I get the PS5? I have no idea. But anyway, let's get on to the main topic of the video which is that screenshot so here we go okay guys we're here with the screenshot and i just want to say beforehand the astral lock box you do not need any enchanted keys all you need to do is essentially when this lock box comes out on the 23rd of june go to the wondrous bazaar buy a load of them if you need and yeah but how i like to do these videos is I'll give you my verdict at the end, but right now we're just going to talk about all the rewards that this lot box contains. So let's just get into it. So going from the top, as you can see, this box contains one of the following. You've basically got 18 rewards on the top load there, and you're going to get one of them says so 1 in 18. The legendaries are going to have a lower chance. And then you've got the bottom tab there where the insignias and the supplements are. You're going to get one of them as well. And also you're going to get trade bars from 20 to 500. So the first reward will be a farewell griffin, act mythic and it's account wide. The griffin is used for various in-game trials. And um, basically just what the group needs. A lot of people do use that griffin. Next we've got a crystalline warhorse which is basically a purple version of the black ice warhorse. Girls and guys prefer the purple one over the Black Ice Warhorse. Me personally, I prefer the Black Ice Warhorse over the Crystalline. However, if you want to think about it like this, there's essentially a his and hers mount in the game um, in the form of the Warhorses. Next, we've got the Hellfire Steed. Doesn't look good. Um, it's just a horse with a stupid mask on, covered in flames. Yeah, that is how exciting it is. But anyway, we got the Mystagog next, which is one of the better rewards. The Mystagog is one of the top AoE companions in the game. And then we got the Gift Yankee, which I believe is a really good single target companion as well. They're both account wide and they are both legendary. Next, we have Random Epic Mounts. And we have got Purple Butterfly Swarm, Orange Butterfly Swarm. Now, these were only available on the Send Market, which is what made them so special. Not a lot of people had them. And now they've put them in the Astral Lock Box. It's almost like, hmm, you spent real money on this. We're going to make it available to everyone. Here's the middle finger. Enjoy. That's how I see that. It's like, they should have just kept it exclusive. If you brought it on the Zen Market, then that's it. They're the only people that got them. But because it's in the Astral Lock Box, a load of people are going to have them. They're going to be less special. And yeah. So we've got the Blue, for, uh, blue Forged Rage Drake, which is essentially a blue... Uh, Drake with kind of like fiery colors on it as well. Uh, we got the Shadow Drake, which you see me running around on. It's the Black Drake um, with the like shadow animation. However, it does run like a frog. It looks, it looks absolutely stupid, and I don't know why they did it. They need to change the running animation back because I'm tired of hopping around on what is supposed to be a badass Drake. We've got the Leopard Printed Yef Hound. Again, it doesn't really look so good. It's kind of basic, to be honest. It is what it is. A lot of people don't even care about it. We've got the random epic companions now. We've got a Tomb Spider, which is pretty basic. Spine Devil, which I believe 
I believe is the top companion that healers use. Um, don't quote me on that, but I'm sure I've been told many times that Spine Devil is what the healers use. So that is a good grab if you can manage to grab that Spine Devil. I'm guessing this is going to drive the prices down on these companions as well. So yeah, it's a decent companion to have in there. Halfling Wayward Wizard. Uh, the Lich. The Lich is in the Battle Pass. Why they put it in the Astral Lock Box as well? I have no idea. And then you got the Shadow Elemental. Nothing much to talk about there. Two Genie's Gifts, five Companion Upgrade Tokens, and Alexandrite. So they are all the rewards that you could possibly get from a single pull from one tab. Now we're going to look at the other tab. Also, why is there only Companion Upgrade Tokens? Why isn't the Mount Upgrade Tokens? That makes no sense to me. I don't, I don't know what they were thinking there. They definitely should have included both of the upgrade tokens. Next tab we have Legendary Insignia, Epic Insignia, Rare Insignia, 4 Uncommon Insignias, 2 Stronghold Vouchers, Epic Profession Supplement, 2 Rare Profession Supplement, 4 Uncommon Profession Supplement, and again Alexandrite. Every time I've opened these lock boxes, I realise how many Alexandrites I actually pull from these. Um, unless the drop rate has changed, which I don't know. I don't have access to a preview server in order to open a boatload. I actually have to buy them, farm the AD. And that's basically how I have to do these sorts of videos. However, 20 to 500 trade bars. My opinion, let people open these lock boxes. Let them drive down the prices. Um, if you're Spine Devil or you're Mr. Gargle, whatever you need, let them drive down the prices. If you do need your bolsters, that is when I would say start opening these lock boxes because them trade bars alone is going to mean you save money by not buying enchanted keys. So you can just buy these astral lock boxes and open them without a key. However, they are going to give you a buttload of trade bars. It's how I got my bolsters up and it's how you guys can also get yours up a lot of people have started doing it but yeah in terms of this lot, lot box it's nothing special um there's some really really nice rewards in there don't get me wrong it's just it's not something that i'm gonna open and expect to get anything from i'll just let other people drive the prices down now get what i need rather than gambling it out on these you can say the same with the trade bars but trade bars the only way of getting them is kind of lock boxes or your daily key. So if you do need trade bars, definitely use astral lock boxes, in my opinion. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you are new and you want to make your way back to the channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.